That was El Desenador Gaudi. Okay, that's a market over there. What's Sarah again? That wax. is wax. Sarah significa wax. Museum. Okay. So we are now by the water. Tickets for sailing trips. Oh, there's a sunset trip at 530 for $21.50. So there's a sunset trip with you, Sid Marina, last. Yeah, I think it's my father de Colomb. Father de Columbus. Probably him. Yeah. Me Basel something Colomb. I mean this is Cologne, aren't you? Yeah, but I got the name of Columbus. Yeah, that's me, it's me. Cologne. Oh that's that's the Spanish name, Cologne. You didn't know that? Hello? Hey. Okay. So, this is the old town. What's this neighborhood called again? The Gothic Quarter. The Gothic Quarter. The so-called Gothic Quarter. We're gonna turn this <laughs> way. So we can all see. Yeah. Going to the cannabis shop. So 
little side street. I'm not even gonna say much, I'm just gonna drink it on this trip. So we are here in Sagrado Familia. That is a pretty impressive structure. Apparently some people think it's ugly. Others think it's not completed. To me it doesn't really matter what you think it is. It is impressive in its form and standard and state. That's all that matters. Alright. So, this is just me going, that's going to reef. Reef, reef, reef. This is vlogging thing. It's one of the weirdest experiences ever. Walking in the streets, talking to the camera while trying to dodge running into people. Just talking, talking about your thoughts, your random thoughts. I actually understand why people find the thoughts of other people interesting. Because we are human beings and we're always looking for connections. We're looking to connect to other people. We're trying to understand what other people do what makes them interesting what they're doing with their lives how they interact with other people their struggles the triumphs the tribulations what they see how they view the world because sometimes we are trying to make that connection they say oh i know that person that person looks like my brother he looks like my family or they say call me familia um the more i've thought about it i actually think more and more of the world you should vlog you know more and more of the world should vlog because when you hear from other people that you're less likely to come across or interact with on a daily basis I, I hope that you are I hope that you're less likely to be judgmental about people like that so for instance, if we have more Iraqi vloggers, Iraqi vloggers where you have, you know, Americans or Europeans or whatnot following them, and we see ourselves in them, is it possible that the conflict that people just support indiscriminately against these people be a lot harder to just say, oh, those people. You know, it's not dissimilar to what is going on in Ukraine right now. You know, Russia basically invading Ukraine for no reason. At least none that most people understand or feel like is justified for that kind of invasion. But part of the reason why the world rallied to is Ukraine's aid is because i would say not the well the world and the west if you will is because they see themselves in ukraine they're looking at those people they say wait that could be my uncle that could be my grandma there are many countries that have been invaded in an unjustified way that nobody cared about the people they just throw bombs on them 
it is that connection that people need that people want so this goes against all of my natural inclinations but i think the world should vlog more and more it doesn't even matter what you're vlogging about or what you're talking about what matters is the humanness of you and your people and everyone around you comes out the personality shines through and that is what matters at the end of the day all right we're live from barcelona until later bye bye Yes, so live from Barcelona, I want you all to like and subscribe to this channel, alright, bye bye.